Hot Wheel Heritage Case E just arrived at my door today, so we're going to review it. I've already pre-cut the centerpiece here so we can crack this open really quickly. Let's see what we've got in here. I think these are a real rider set, if I'm not mistaken. Fresh from Mattel. And there are some beauties in here. Let's go for one of the best ones right off the bat. Oh yes, the Texas drive -em. You can't pass up a Texas drive -em. certainly not with real riders. Motorcycles in the back. We're going to be cracking one of each of these cars open. Forgive the clock. We're going to be cracking one of each of these cars open and taking a closer look at them. But for now, let's just get each and every one of them out of the case. So you're going to get two of these Texas Drive-Ums if you buy them by the case. Or if you're looking in the stores, keep in mind that one is going to be one of the harder ones to find. Not only because it's ultra cool, but you're not going to get three of them as some of these cars you do. So in this particular car here, we've got the 60 Oldsmobile Cutlass Convertible. And it's got really cool pace car tampos on it. Authentic racing stripes and whatnot. So all metal, of course. But you're going to get three of those. So chances are you may have more luck finding one of these ones initially, at least, before you find a Texas Drive them. And what else have we got here? The Porsche 917. Super cool car. This one's been around for a while. Nice casting, but we haven't seen it in a while. So really nice to see this one coming back. And only two of these in this case. So it might be one of the harder ones to find, just based on numbers alone. Next, we've got the Aston Martin 1963 DB5. Pretty fitting with the James Bond movie just coming out, or having just come out not long ago. And apparently doing quite well in the box office. But this one does not have the James Bond tampos on it. We've already seen those. And I'm not sure that car's even featured in the new movie. I haven't seen it yet. So, anyways, three of those. Now here is a classic casting. It's been a while since I've seen this one. The Neat Streeter. This one dates all the way back to 1977, I believe, was the first release. Actually came out in red lines back then. And there are three of those. Super cool little gasser type car. And I think that one's going to be a hit. I think you're going to have trouble finding that one, even with the three of them in the case. And for all you Chevy fans out there, I know there's quite a few of you guys. 69 Camaro right here. Nice racing uh, tampo on the side. Those big five chrome slotted wheels. Cool. Got three of those. Well, look at this Texas drive em. Isn't it sharp? Big off road tires on it. Lots of rubber. And of course, you got the motorcycles in the back. Dirt track construction written on the side. I'm actually kind of partial to the paint job on this one. I think there's a little bit too much going on, but, uh, you know, some people will like it. I still love the truck because I love this casting, so you really can't go wrong because of that. Big solid metal base. One thing I did notice, though, the back axle on this particular model I have, it doesn't roll the best. You can see it kind of getting caught there and... Upon closer inspection, I noticed that there's quite a bit of wobble in this one here, so the front one rolls fine, but the back one, not, not the greatest, so hopefully that's just a fluke. It's kind of got the parking brake on by the looks of it. Now check out that 69 Camaro. Nice deep red metallic paint job on it, almost a pearl type paint, clear windows. Really like those real rider rims on it. A big metal base again. And wouldn't you know, I noticed there was an issue with this car's rolling too. This time it's the front wheels. Kind of stops on its own. And the problem seems to be again, wonky wheel axles. So the wheels have got too much play and they're catching on the inside of the fender as you can see there. 
So uh, if you're looking to race these ones, watch out. Seems like this batch has got a few cars with some very untypical Hot Wheel rollability issues. This pace car is absolutely magnificent. Big old Oldsmobile Cutlass convertible. We've seen this casting out in the main line before. And I'll let you know, none of the other cars I'm going to be showing you have any issues with the wheels. So it's just those first two. But uh, I really like these kind of almost like a co-mold wheel. you got the chrome rim with the uh, tan, and tan inside spokes. Nice big heavy car. Metal base once again. Not too much way in the way of uh, tampo details for headlights and taillights on this one, but you got that really nice uh, official pace car Speedway California. Yeah, pretty nice stuff. Hurst. Hurst shifters. This one comes in at a pretty close uh, top car for me out of this batch. I'm really particular for the neat streeter. It's a casting with lots of history and it just looks awesome with these tires on it. Perfect tires and wheels that they could have used for this car with the flat black paint and the kind of yellow green flame treatment on the hood and the sides. That big chrome engine sticking out of the hood was normally black plastic back in the old days. Not sure if the base has changed much. Doesn't really look like it. You got the little flag on there, the Hot Wheels flag. Other than that, not too many changes to this car. And uh, yeah, probably one of my favorites out of this batch. Here's another car that instantly grew on me as soon as I opened the package. The Porsche 917-K. Just such a nice looking car with this paint job. Very shiny, great tampos. The wheels are awesome. Lots of chrome and check out those clear plastic headlights on it. Big exhaust pipe sticking out the back. Oh, there they are, sorry. Sticking straight out the back. Got the chrome engine there. Quite similar to the vintage Porsche 917 without the K from way back in the day. Although that one featured an opening cowling and bodywork that extended down below the rear wheels. Whereas this one's open, an open concept here. And here's a really cool Aston Martin 1963 DB5. I like the wheels on this one as well. We've got that same kind of, same as we saw in the Cutlass, the chrome outer rim with the black inside. And of course the rubber tires. The green paint job is pretty nice. I like the uh, simple tampos on it too. And especially that it has the gray insert grille with the metal bumper. It really complements the front end nicely. Got some nice little silver door handles on it and uh, some vents on the, on the front fenders. Nice big solid thick tires on it. Quite a nice little casting. One last look at them all lined up and out of the package. Texas Drive them. Cutlass. Neat Streeter. Camaro. Porsche. And Aston Martin. Which one's your favorite, guys? And which one do you think is going to fly off the pegs? Whoa.